So these are one of this is one of the drawer slides that we used on our um, robot from early in the season when we went to the Saratoga qualifier, and it's galvanized steel from Home Depot and it's 10 inches long. We well, had three, three on each side, so six total. Okay. Yeah, we had three on each side of our robot um, connected together. So there's lots of holes on the back and we had to find holes on the front on this part of the slide or drill holes so that we could get holes that lined up on the front and the back to attach them. So these are two slides that are attached together. Um, so we used this hole right here and this hole right here, which were already on the slides. And then we attached those to the back of another drawer slide. So this is the back of one. We used this hole, this hole right here. Um, and then we drilled a hole down here and we just drilled a hole that lined up um, with the holes on the other side and you want it to be centered so it doesn't hit any of the sliding parts. Um, and it's also important to get slides that have enough clearance in here for bolts so that when it slides like this and the bolts in this hole, it doesn't hit. Okay, and then probably before you put your slides together, um, and after you've drilled the holes that line up, you want to drill holes in um, one or two sides of your drawer slides. See, these ones only have it on one side. Um, for you to have the pulleys on. And so there's also one down here. And it depends if you want to have uh, strings that pull your lift up and pull it down. Um, at Saratoga, we only had strings that pulled the lift up. So we only had pulleys um, on the top sides of our slides. So here's the two slides that are attached. Um, and you can see we've got one bolt in here. And you have to, you can only access some of these when parts are in very specific positions. Um, and then we've got one right here, which is a lot easier to get to. And on this side, they're right here. And if you move this, it's right in here. Um, and these are low profile button head cap screws um, that you can either get at the hardware store or McMaster car. Yeah, these are just regular cap nuts on the back. And we recommend that you use Loctite on your cap nuts because those get really painful to access later on. Yeah, you don't want to be tightening this stuff because, like, this one is a pain to get to. Yeah. And it depends on what drawer sides you get because some aren't this bad, but these are pretty awful. Yeah, so this is with the pulleys on here. Uh, we used, these are Phillips heads. Uh, like, what are these, one inch bolts? Um, and then we put a cap nut on one side to hold it in. And then we put a nylon spacer. And this one's got a lip on it so that the string couldn't come off, which wasn't very effective. So later we switched to adding a nylon spacer. Um, and then later we even switched to just doing V bearings. Um, and then we put a cap nut on the other side and you can cut your bolt so that it doesn't stick out, which we didn't do here. All right, in this next part, we're gonna show how to convert your drawer slide system to using steel cable and V-bearings rather than rope and the uh, nylon bearings. So this is one of the drawer slides that we used early in the season. Um, and the way we found out to attach the bearing that works best is you just take a one of the standard half inch bolts 632 you have to drill a small hole here in the side you have to do that in the top and bottom of each slide um, it can help to set up a jig while you're drilling these to make it go faster 
か。Okay, so now that's in that hole. And the first thing we tried is we just took a V bearing, slipped it on there,、um, and put on a nut and tightened it down. But the problem with that is the V bearing will actually scrape against the side of the drawer slide. So, yeah, you'll get a lot of resistance from the out, outer ring of the V bearing scraping against here. So, what we did is we took a nylon spacer, well, we took a bunch of nylon spacers. And cut them up really thin. So there's no actual dimension for how thick this is, but you just need some form of spacer. So we put that on there in between the V bearing and the drawer slide. So that makes it so only the inner ring is touching,、uh, only the inner ring of the V bearing is touching the nylon, and so it'll spin freely. Then you gotta put on a nut. Um, so, what we did is we took、uh, regular nuts, not kept nuts, just regular 632 nuts from the hardware store.、Uh, put them on, and you don't want to tighten them down all the way because you'll still get the same problem where it squeezes the bearing and makes it grind. So, here I, I have it sort of just finger tightened, and you have to still hold it on there somehow. So, you can either use a nylock nut.、Um, And that'll keep itself on there. It won't just spin off. Or what we did is put a regular nut on there and then use some blue Loctite to keep it from flying off. So you just want to tighten it down. You want the bolt to still be a little bit loose. Like it should be able to wiggle back and forth a little. And I can spin this pretty freely. So that'll make sure that your steel cable doesn't have too much resistance. This is the steel cable we used. It comes in big loops like this. I think this is like 100 feet or something.、Um, we just got this on Amazon. It's, what is it? 364 inch diameter.、Um, and when you buy steel cable, you want to make sure that you,、uh, you get the 7x7 construction stuff. Because the typical options that you see are 1x7, which means、um, the cord is comprised of seven different strands, or 7x7, which means it's comprised of 49 different strands. And the 1x7 stuff has a really, really large bend radius. And so if you try and make it go around these tiny little V bearings, it's going to get bent.、Um, it, won't, it won't go around that tight of a radius. Um, we'll put some links in the description for where you can find this type of cable, the crimps we used, and the V bearings. So, this is our lift that we used at NorCal, and it's strung cascading. So, that means that in theory, each slide goes out at relatively the same time, like this. Yeah, like that. And so, that's versus continuous, where each slide goes out individually. So, the way this is strung is、um, we tie off the string to the bottom, and so it's tied off to this flange bearing here. And it goes, this string goes up over this flange bearing up here. So, it's going over that flange bearing, comes down, and yeah, it comes down and ties off to the third one down here. And then、um, the second, and then this one here goes up, loops around the third one, comes down, and ties off to the fourth one. And then the way we drive this is we have,、um, we have one tied off to the second one here, which goes up, loops the other way around the first one at the top up here, comes down. And we have this, which we put on our spool. So when we pull this in, It makes the second slide, this slide, go up, and that shortens the distance between.、Um, between. It shortens, it makes the string、um, loop around that's going from the first flange bearing here to the third one down here. It shortens the distance, so, the dis so it pulls the third one up, and then since you've done that to、so、the rest of them, the distance gets shortened again, so it pulls them all up. So it pulls them all up at the same time. 
And then um, for pull down strings, we don't have them on here right now, but it's basically the same deal at the top, but you, um, you do it the other way. And so when the string is getting pulled in to go up, you have it, you have it on, uh, wound on your spools. So as you're pulling in string for the up strings, you're letting out string for the down strings. And then vice versa, when you're pulling in, when you're um, pulling down, your down strings are pulling in and your up strings are letting out. So they're never fighting.